Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of EDI Doors. In this episode of EDI Doors, I am about I am about to get some um, some livestock. I'm gonna pick up here in just a little while, and it's coming right up on EDI Doors. <laughs> Uh, Louisiana was hit with uh, not one but two hurricanes back to back. Uh, one of them being Hurricane Laura, and basically uh, Hurricane Laura came through and she just tore up the tore up everything. Uh, like very very strong winds and and it just kind of made it put a damper on everybody's summer. Uh, on top of the the COVID uh, nonsense and all that stuff. But so basically and. In my area, you see in my backyard, a bunch of debris, a bunch of limbs, trees, branches fell uh, across the street. A tree fell. Uh, I was without power for four days. Uh, freezer, fridge, everything got ruined. Had to throw all that out. Had to completely start over and restock. Uh, I was able to salvage some of my deer meat, some of my elk, uh, you know, some of that good wild game. I was able to salvage, but everything else is just, I had to throw it out. A lot of people were affected by it. Um, price gouging on the generators people just take advantage of, of folks but anyway um with that and and with it just being the beginning of hurricane season and i've always wanted to raise some livestock not not anything crazy but something to where you know if this stuff kind of happened the coronavirus all that stuff happened and the markets ran out of food fresh meat which is what happened because power went out across the whole northeast area whole north uh, i think like nine different parishes were affected uh, greatly like completely shut down power, but also have some type of backup plan where I could have livestock that if I need to uh, um, I don't know what you call it um, Harvest them uh, For meat or whatever I can do that. So that's what we're doing uh, right now I'm picking up 20 Jumbo Brown Paternix quail. I've been doing a lot of research on quail uh, For a while I've been wanting to raise some but never had the opportunity to so I said hey it's pretty simple, pretty easy to raise. Don't need a lot of area, a lot of space. So for right now, they're small. They're only five days old. So they're gonna go to this big container right here. Uh, whenever they reach about four, four or five weeks old, uh, I'm gonna build a pen for them and separate the males and females. Also, uh, dove season starts this weekend coming up. So we'll do some dove hunting. Alright guys, here's a little update on the quail. Um, last night, that container, I filled it up about a quarter of the way, and they absolutely hammered it. So this morning I got up, and I filled it halfway. You can see how much they've already eaten. I decided to throw that feed, the chick feed, in the blender, and um, grind it up, and made it a little smaller for them. And they're doing a lot better job. Last night they are kicking out, and throwing out a lot of the feed, because the big chunks they couldn't eat, and they are just kind of picking through the big chunks, so I went ahead and uh, basically made it all small so I can get to it. They can feed off of it a little better. In this view, you can see you can see all 20 now. Uh, try to get to where you can see. All right, there you go. Anyway, the quail they're doing pretty good. Um, I had them uh, overnight. Today they are six days old. Uh, when keeping track of them on Thursday. Thursday will be their birthday, so their birth week. So tomorrow they'll be a week old, and we're waiting for them to hit three weeks and in three weeks we'll actually be able to tell the difference between the males and the females. Um, essentially the females have speckled chests, the males have like a brown chest. These are, I mean they're pretty tame for the most part, but if they say still long enough, okay. okay. Yeah, they'll just pick them up and such, but um, yeah, they're pretty cute, pretty sweet, and they cannot yet fly. I don't know at what age they start flying, but I have the lid here in the back. You see I cut the center of it out and I put that hardware cloth to where they can, you know, get ventilation and breathe. But if I need to, I'll put the lid on top to keep them jumping out. At night, I do lay the lid on top just to keep them, make sure they don't get out overnight or such. But anyway, um, if you guys want to see some updates of the quail, y'all just let me know below in the comment section and I'll start incorporating the quail into my videos. We'll just do update 
every time I do a video, I let you guys get an update on the quail, see how they're doing. Uh, right now we got 20, we'll separate them when they turn old enough to know the difference between male and female. I'm gonna build a big coop, keep them in, and eventually I'll move them outside in the shed, uh, out back to where they're protected from the elements. And then at some point, they'll start laying eggs, we'll collect eggs for a while, and then we'll incubate some eggs and have a few more. So, uh, if you guys wanna see all that, let me know. Yeah.